Joining us here on 6 p.m. Prime here on India Today is Mr. Melindiora, former Union Minister, Congress Leader. Mr. Melindiora, good evening. Uh, I saw your tweet, the reaction that you put out this morning with the footage that emerged from Canada. And I suspect, sir, that your reaction doesn't come from being a Congress Leader, but from being an Indian and seeing, you know, a former Prime Minister's assassination being mocked in this manner. Absolutely. Uh, my reaction came from, uh, from, frankly, from two parts. One is it came from a place where, um, as a child growing up, I was for fortunate enough to have met Indira Gandhiji many times. Uh, she was someone who was extremely close to my father. Um, it did bother me at a personal level mm -hmm. to see that her assassination is being celebrated in this extremely crude way. But it, the primary sort of reason and provocation for me was that as an Indian, we are witnessing extremists in another country celebrating, commemorating um, a former prime minister's assassination. And that to me is extremely worrying. It's extremely appalling. It's disgusting, frankly. And um, I do welcome the uh, external affairs minister's statements. I think he has made very strong remarks. But I do believe that the government must take this up at the highest levels. Uh, for me, this when I put the tweet out and I saw the tweet go viral and I saw people from cutting across different parties yeah. supporting this, I, in, in some ways it was a bittersweet uh, a reaction and response. As I said, it's bitter because of just how crude and how appalling it is. But it, it was sweet in a sense that this is an issue that brings us together. And this is something that could have happened to another prime minister, another former head of state, from India cutting across another party. And um, uh, if, if there was another, if there was a prime minister of the BJP of another party mm. who had been assassinated, who had been martyred for India, and uh, who was, whose death and assassination was being celebrated in another country, I know that I would have gone out and supported that government and that party's uh, wanting to express their displeasure to that nation. So these are issues which I think we have to rise above politics. These are issues of India's sovereignty. These are issues of protecting our image as the world's um, uh, largest, most diverse, most robust democracy. And, um, and, I, and I was glad to see the statement from the Ministry, Minister of External Affairs. You know, I will say that uh, it's good to see that, you know, the political leanings aside, everyone has come together, as you pointed, Milind, uh, to condemn this kind of uh, a public display of celebration, a glorification of sorts, of a former prime minister's assassination. You mentioned that you welcome uh, the external affairs minister's statement on this, Mr. Jayashankar's statement on this. But do you believe that the government also needs to send out a tougher message to Canada? We've issued some very strong objections in the recent past as well, because we've seen several such, you know, provocations by Khalistani groups based in Canada, but nothing's really changing on the ground. Absolutely. I think that the Indian government has to do much more to weed out these extremists in Canada. Uh, uh, the foreign minister making a statement is certainly a welcome development, mm -hmm. but there's much more that the Indian High Commission in Canada can do. Um, I did see that the Canadian envoy to India condemned this incident. But look, today there's an incident of extremists from a particular community in a particular country. Tomorrow it could be another issue. For me, what is far more paramount is not just to make it about Canada or Khalistanis. Mm -hmm. It's really about India's Prime Minister. When India's Prime Minister is slammed, when India's Prime Minister is um, a person who has been martyred, is, um, the martyrdom is celebrated, this is something we have to come together. We shouldn't forget that Indira Gandhi was also respected by people cutting across party lines. Very In fact, true. the former Prime Minister of, um, uh, of India, the, the, the first uh, BJP Prime Minister, Atal Bihari Vajpayee Ji, called her Durga. Hmm. So, so these are things where we must unite and we must condemn universally and ensure that action is taken in a united manner. These are things which are about, as I said, about India's uh, national sovereignty, its identity. Yeah. And this government's statement is a welcome step. But certainly, I do agree with you, the Indian government has to do more to express its displeasure to the Canadian government and to work with the Canadian government to weed out these elements and these extremist 
fringe elements once and for all from their country. You know, we've seen a lot of statements that have come in from the Canadian government in the past as well, when we've seen, uh, you know, incidents of vandalization, incidents of clear provocation uh, for Indians itself. But having said that, uh, Melind, this Khalistani surge that we're witnessing in, let's say, Canada, in an Australia or a United Kingdom, do you believe it poses a serious threat to us here in India as well? Look, I'm somebody who believes that extremism, extremism of any kind poses a threat to the country where that extremism is being encouraged. Mm. I have never in my politics encouraged extremism. I've always criticized extremism, regardless of which community it belongs to. Um, I do agree with the foreign minister's statements that not only is extremism in Canada bad for Indo-Canadian relationships, ultimately, it's going to come back and bite Canada. When Pakistan encouraged extremism and grew extremism, mm. um, facilitated terrorism, we've seen what happens. True. So, in my opinion, that is a good statement. But yes, there has to be a more systemic institutional way of working between the Indian government, between the Canadian government, between any government. As I mentioned, today it could be one issue, one community, one country. Tomorrow it could be another country. And I think that this is a good development where despite a very hostile political environment where Indian political parties are always criticizing each other and very rarely being able to find common ground. This is an example of common ground where if you celebrate the martyrdom of an Indian prime minister, regardless of which party he or she belongs to, we will criticize you. We will express our displeasure. Mm -hmm. We will unite. And that is India's greatest strength. And when we come together, we can put our politics aside and we can represent India to the best of our ability. Very, very well put. And I'm glad to see that today, politics aside, everyone's coming together to condemn what's happened in Canada. Thank you very much, uh, Melindy Ora, for joining us here on India Today.